sinkhole is a well-known but very dangerous cave diving location in Hernando County. Now to those deadly caves, a pair of divers' bodies found Monday. Close a well-known cave diving site. There are not many corners of this world that are untouched by man. For centuries, humankind has sought after the thrill of exploration and discovery. Conquestors would travel for months or even years in search of a mysterious far off land. Today, our heads have turned to the sky above to unearth new lands beyond earth, but there are still a few illustrious adventures left among us. Cave divers take on considerable danger to seek out the last remaining untouched corners of the world, a highly technical activity that combines scuba diving and cave exploration, something that is otherwise known as spelunking. Cave diving is not without its misadventures though. Eagle's Nest Sink, Florida, is one of the top 10 most dangerous cave systems known to us. The underwater system is treacherous, narrow, and bewitching. Located in a remote section in the pines of Chasahuitska Wildlife Management Area in West Central Florida, Eagle's Nest Sink has taken the lives of 13 divers since 1981. The caves are not for the faint of heart, nor are they for inexperienced divers. Above the surface, the sinkhole is just that, a hole underneath the murky surface. But beneath the mosquito-ridden water is a cave system, shaped similar to a sink with a long, foreboding drain that descends into the Earth's crust. Eagle's Nest Sink is approximately 300 feet in depth. Something may not seem like much, but underwater, a few feet can be the difference between life and death. Between 1999 and 2003, Eagle's Nest Sink was closed off to the public. Nobody was allowed in to dive the caves until the urging of divers forced the state of Florida's hand to reopen the spot and many others. As the number of cave diving related deaths rose nationwide, and with Florida being such a hotspot, the state had considered banning the sport altogether. Many experienced divers have explored the caves below Florida, some even contributing to the ongoing mapping of the system. The research and study of caves contribute to the study of astrobiology, geology, and climate change. For Chris Rittenmeyer and Patrick Peacock, this was their enjoyment, their thrill. The pair were well-versed in the world of cave diving and had even visited Eagle's Nest Sink in the past. Their fate, unbeknownst to them, was already sealed well before entering the murky water. On October 19, 2016, Rittenmeyer and Peacock entered the water of Eagle's Nest sinkhole at two in the afternoon. An hour later, the two men were supposed to meet at a predetermined spot to check the integrity of their gear and determine if they were to go any further. Rittenmeyer and Peacock entered the water late that day with their safety diver, Justin Blakely. Blakely stayed at the surface as Rittenmeyer and Peacock descended further into the cave system. He was there should a problem arise, either on the surface or in the caves. When the pair did not meet Blakey an hour later at a predetermined spot, he began to search for them. For over three hours, Blakely waited for the men to return to the predetermined location or to simply resurface. When Peacock and Rittenmeyer never showed up, Justin feared the worst had happened. Blakely, unable to locate his fellow divers, reached out to authorities. An emergency dive team was sent out to Eagle's Nest Sink and began a hunt of their own. Sunday, October 20, members of the emergency dive team located the bodies of Rittenmeyer and Peacock together. The dive team consisted of local expert divers who were familiar with the area and sinkhole. The situation they were entering was met with grim expectations and little optimism. At the entrance to the cave, a troubling sign reads, there's nothing in this cave worth dying for. Accompanied with the unnerving message is a picture of the Grim Reaper with his scythe of death. Despite this warning, Rittenmeyer and Peacock continued with their journey. This was because the pair had challenged the caves in the past and succeeded. Their plan was to explore the caves for the weekend, conquering more winding paths than before. The cave, on the other hand, had different plans. During the recovery of their bodies, emergency dive teams are tasked by law enforcement to document and investigate before retrieval. According to the Hernando County Sheriff's Office, Rittenmeyer and Peacock made it roughly 1,300 feet into the cave before something catastrophic happened. It's believed that Peacock had gotten stuck in a narrow opening and was forced to remove his oxygen tanks. The pair attempted to exit the cave system while body breathing, a process in which two divers switch off using the oxygen supply. Peacock's rebreather, open circuit scuba, and his buoyancy compensation were left behind. They were completely intact and functioning according to the reports. 
Peacock and Rittenmeyer were found 550 feet away from the cave entrance. Before the start of their journey, the two men had staged a spare oxygen tank at the cave entrance in case of a catastrophic failure with their equipment. However, this wasn't a failure of equipment at all. Peacock and Rittenmeyer were just 550 feet shy of salvation when the remaining oxygen in Rittenmeyer's tank ran out. Rittenmeyer valiantly attempted to save his friend's life, but in the end, the heroic act cost him his own life. It's unknown as to why Peacock did not attempt to re-gear up. His equipment was still fully functional and intact. Even if Peacock had gotten stuck with the equipment on, investigators suggested that he could have pushed the gear back through the opening. Peacock would have been able to re-gear up once clearing the passing. But he didn't, and this has left investigators scratching their heads, asking questions that will never be answered. Several more lives have been taken by Eagle's Nest Sink since the deaths of Peacock and Rittenmeyer. With a total of 13 deaths to date, including a father and son duo, Eagle's Nest Sink has been placed at number seven of the most dangerous underwater caves in the world. The state of Florida alone is home to several extremely dangerous underwater cave systems, making the state a hotspot for exploration and calamity. Whenever tragedy strikes, locals and other surrounding citizens damn the closure of Eagle's Nest Sink. On the other hand, cave divers lobby to keep this particular spot open. Change.org has had a long-running petition to either close the sinkhole altogether or closely regulate those who entered the caves below. Cave diving experts have given their thoughts and opinions on the matter. While cave diving can be considered the most dangerous sport, the information collected from samples, mapping, and other scientific research has proven to be incredibly vital to the ongoings of the surface. Jill Heinerth, an underwater photographer and cave diver, posed the question. Accidents happen all the time on the roadway, far more accidents than ones inside caves. Why wouldn't we close down the roadways if they were the cause of so many deaths? Death happens despite the measures taken to mitigate catastrophic failures and many expert level divers believe that it's unfair and unjust to punish those for the accident of others. The deaths of Peacock and Rittenmeyer were certainly head scratching, but they had dove Eagle's Nest sink before and were not novices to say the least. There's always a risk when it comes to cave diving. There's a certain degree of danger divers face anytime you're in a cave, both underwater and not. The more complex of a system, environment, complex dive plans, or simply just the unknowns leave divers with less and less time to deal with a catastrophic failure. To the most experienced divers, the completely untrained novices have lost their lives to Eagle's Nest Sink. As of today, Eagle's Nest Sink will remain open to the public and advertised as an expert-only dive. Many may not heed the warnings, but experienced divers cannot resist the thrill of adventure. In 2018, 20-year-old Saeed Marjane was found dead at the depth of 150 feet inside Eagle's Nest Sink. Following yet another tragic death, Hernando County and Florida Fish and Wildlife implemented restrictions. All divers must be certified cave divers and have a permit to descend into the caves. Free diving is no longer allowed within the pond either. In spite of recent or past incidents, cave diving will continue to push the envelope of mental and physical strength. The lure and bewitchment of discovering the unknown or swimming through geological time is too much to resist for many. Do you think you have what it takes to embark on this kind of adventure? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe so we can continue bringing these stories to you every week. If you have a video suggestion, leave a comment down below. Until next time.